reverses we might still be able to stop. So we need to know how responder would send up the, the warning flares that perhaps this auction needs to stop at the three level. And here's our clarifications, nothing interesting there. Let's talk about this responder second bid. The first question you wanna ask yourself, so this is like your, your first decision point. Can you commit to a game opposite a 17 count with five, four shape, in the two suits that opener has promised, okay? And if you're out there on kind of a joke of a response, or you know maybe you've got seven or eight points, but it looks like the hand's a big old misfit, uh, you have two options. And, and by the way, this is one simple, logical suggestion on how to play this. You will find different experts perhaps espousing different methods, but this one's intuitive and works pretty well. So if you have a weak hand, you can rebid your suit and that would show at least five cards in the suit. Okay. Failing that, you could rebid the cheaper of two no trump or the fourth suit. That's that's if you've only got four cards in your original suit. So your two options say it goes a diamond a spade two hearts and we're sitting here on a bad hand. We, we deem our hand to be not one that we want to be encouraging opener further with. Our two options are we can rebid our suit. That shows five spades and it doesn't clarify strength yet. Okay, opener's going to always be bidding a third time. Um, failing that, we could bid two no trump because that's the cheaper of, or the, the fourth suit would be three clubs here. And two no trump just says, look, um, I don't have five spades because I would have done that otherwise. And I might be passing your next bid. If you do have enough to force to a game, okay, and there's a little box there that reminds you, as always, high card points in the long suits or in partner suit get upgrades. Okay, so if partner shown five, four, and you've got this like kind of queen, queen, king looking hand, if your queens are in the two suits that partner has not bid like that's that's danger will robinson right there but on the other hand if you've got a seven count with two queens in the suits that partners bid that's that's probably enough to commit to a game okay anyway just a quick reminder on that your in and out valuation so if we had if we deem that we have enough to force to game opposite 17 and the five four shape that partners promised you can confirm an eight plus card fit for one of opener's suits at the three level Okay, so here that would either be bidding three diamonds, shows I have a game force in, in context, and at least three diamonds because you've promised five, or you could raise hearts, and that would confirm enough to force a game and at least four hearts because opener has promised four. Option number two, you could rebid your suit with five plus cards and keep on bidding later. So notice that anytime we've got five cards in our responded suit, we are rebidding the suit, the difference being we might pass opener's next bid if we've got the weak hand. If we've got the strong hand, we need to keep on bidding. You could rebid three no trump with stoppers in the two, or stoppers in the fourth suit, and something like eight to 11 points, like nothing outstanding, but certainly enough to be in game. That's what three no would be. Or your last option, you could rebid the higher of two no trump and the fourth suit. So here, three clubs. And that would say, partner, I have a good hand. I don't necessarily have a fit for you. I probably don't have a fifth card in my suit because I could have rebid that with a wide range of strength. And I don't have like the, the jump to three no because I've got a boring old nine count with a stopper in the fourth suit. It's just a, a catch-all forcing bid there. Okay, so... That's a system uh, for what responder can do to clarify strength after opener's reverse and potentially stop the bidding at the three level. And, and one more idea here. Um, anytime you're playing any sort of relay, like if you're, if you're playing Levensol or any, anything fancy where one partner asks the other one to bid, say, say, say they use this, uh, two no trump idea. 
opener needs to do what's called break the relay if they have some enormous hand that is underrepresented so far. Okay, so if, if, if you can't stand for partner to, to pass, at some point you need, to, you need to do what's called breaking a relay and not bidding what they've told you to do. Okay, so I hope, I hope that'll help um, clarify some priorities for responder in the situation where opener has reversed and you are trying to sort out your strength and still find the right strain, right, on, on your second bid.